Hi guys, I welcome you back to this new lecture of carbon glasses and today we are going to talk about non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. So non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are often called NSAIDs and uh, we, as we know they help in treatment of pain, angina, fever, they are anti-inflammatory in nature and have antiplatelet effects. So firstly we are going to talk about the classification. So NSAIDs are classified on the basis of their inhibition to the COX enzyme. That is, COX is an enzyme that helps to form prostaglandins and these prostaglandins helps in pain mediation. So non-selective COX cyclooxygenase inhibitors, the firstly classified uh, thing, we are going to start with salicylates. Salicylates, we have aspirin. So I have made a short mnemonic that is Safi P Lo. So Safi P Lo. So S is for salicylates. Salicylates is basically aspirin. A is acetic acid derivative. So acetic acid derivative is ketrolac and indomethacin and F is phenamic acid, mephenamic acid uh, which is the drug in this. P is propanoic acid derivative that is ibuprofen and uh, ketoprofen and E is anolic acid derivative simply pyroxicam and tenoxicam. Now talking about prevention, uh, the second part in the classification that is prevention COX-2 inhibitor. So it is diclofenac, acylofenac and nimosulide. Now I am going to talk about the COX inhibitors. What are COX1 and COX2 later? Firstly you just read the classification. Now thirdly it is highly selective COX2 inhibitor that is etoricoxib and paracoxib. So paracoxib is not used, no, etoricoxib is used and uh, analgesic and antipyretic with poor anti-inflammatory effects we have got paracetamol and nifopam now we are going to talk about the mechanism of action now guys the as i told cox that is cyclooxygenase is responsible for the biosynthesis of various prostaglandins and we know that there are two well recognized isoform of cox which is the cox1 and cox2 now the COX-1 is formed in uh, blood vessels, stomach and kidneys and COX-2, COX-2 is a induced form and how it is induced? It is induced during the inflammatory reactions which is brought about by the cytokinins and the endotoxins and is responsible for the production of prostanoid mediators of inflammation. So guys it is induced during the inflammation of cytokines and uh, uh, the and it is and cytokines and, and endotoxins and basically it is responsible for the production of prostanoid mediators of inflammation now talking about the third thing third thing is thromboxin a2 which is uh, uh, its activity of the thromboxin a2 is decreased by aspirin now aspirin causes irreversible inhibition of cox activity that is a very important point that is it causes irreversible inhibition and the rest are reversible the rest cause reversible inhibition of the enzyme now guys this is all for today's lecture in the next lecture we are going to talk about aspirin as the main drug and other drugs we are going to also see about them thank you thanks for watching keep subscribing the channel hope you would like the video